What would amazing look like for you? What would amazing look like if you were amazing? If you know what amazing looks like, then why haven't you gotten here yet? I want you to say, the reason I'm not as amazing yet because I hit the snooze button. That's why I'm not amazing right now. The reason why I'm not amazing right now is because I couldn't get up early enough because I told myself I'm not an early person. I don't get on Twitter every blue moon. I don't get on my app every blue moon. The reason why some of you will never be successful because you're not immersed in it. When you wake up in the morning, look at your goals. Your goals gonna tell you what time to get up. Are you hearing me? Your goals gonna tell you who you should be hanging out with. I can't tell you, but your goals gonna tell you how much sleep do you need. You might not need to get up at three o'clock in the morning for your goals, but your goals are going to define what time you get up, how you live your life, how you move, when you say yes, when you say no. Think like the person you intend to become. I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid. Right? That when you wake up in the morning, all you got to do is step in your dream. The difference between people who talk about it and people who do it is one simple word, application. They hear it, and they don't just hear it, they digest it. And when they digest it, boom, they do something with it. If you are alive, I know you ain't reached your best yet, right? You got more. You can do more. You can see more. You can be more. I know that all your energy, all your strength, all your skills, all your capabilities, like you're not operating on a thousand percent. I know there's still some things you can do, some limits that you can push, some buttons you can push, some opportunities that you haven't explored. And the second thing I know is this. I know that you are not experiencing life to its fullest. Like life itself, is a process of becoming, a part of man's ongoing historical drive to manifest his consciousness outside of his mind, in front of his eyes. Greatness is when we overcome our own boundaries, when we surprise ourselves. When mapped out, when we get the long view, when we get the big picture. That's greatness. Ask not what the world needs, ask instead what makes you come alive, because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. What makes you come alive? What gives you the goosebumps? What gives you the chills? What makes you well up? Somewhere deep inside, you know what kind of person you were designed to be. Ask yourself, how would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do? Greatness is upon you, and it's time for you to bring that thing out. There's power in consistency. There's power in doing something over and over and over and over again. There's power in practice. Don't rush the process. Yeah, feel me. Some of y'all are trying to rush the 21 days. It takes 21 years to be 21 years old. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. It's a matter of life and death. Yes, it's a job you don't want, but that job is going to propel you and position you for the next job. It's not just the class. It's the rest of your life. Are you hearing me? It's not just working out. It's an extra year on your life. It's not just eating right. It's another seven years on your life. It's a matter of life and death. And so your life is in your hands. Your dream is in your hands. Your future is in your hands. So, 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 what would amazing look like?